And of all the superlatives. Oh! 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 After a year of fights with no audience, UFC 261 was finally the event in which a capacity crowd was allowed in attendance. The electrifying energy of 15,000 UFC fans at the ViStar Veterans Memorial Arena in Jacksonville was headlined by three title bouts that included a rematch against Kamaru Usman and Jorge Masvidal, the co-main event between strawweight champion Zhang Wei Li and Rose Namajunas, plus dominant flyweight queen Valentina Shevchenko taking on challenger Jessica Andrade. To start off the main card was a battle between Anthony Smith and Jimmy Crute. Before the end of the first round, Crute crumbled from a leg injury but quickly turned it around to a ground match. Smith landed and he dropped the win. Crew is in many ways fortunate to be able to get that yeah. takedown after that. Well, that reaction. Crew held on to Smith as tightly as possible to run out the clock. When the buzzer rang, Crew was clearly limping over to his corner. The doctors were clearly concerned, and Crew did his best to prove he was ready for another round. It looks like it's coming back a little bit, Joe. Yeah, oh it looks like it's coming oh, back no. a little. A little? A little, not much so. Oh, oh my god. Oh. 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 They're going to stop it. Gonna do it. That is the word. I mean, the doctor stops the fight. Jimmy Crew on one leg, and it goes into the book, says a TKO for Anthony Smith, boys. But the fight was ended via doctor stoppage, and Smith came out the winner. We hope to see these two fight again sometime soon. Next up, we had big name fighters Uriah Hall and Chris Weidman trying to climb their way up to the middleweight division. It may have been the fastest fight of the night and definitely the most brutal. Before the fight really began, Hall checked one of Weidman's kicks and Weidman's shin bone snapped. Weidman was immediately on the ground and unable to move. Nobody wants to win a fight this way, so we hope these two get a chance to battle again very soon. Now we had the fight for the Women's Flyweight Championship between champion Valentina Shevchenko and challenger Jessica Andrade. Shevchenko is a Muay Thai champion, so it was interesting to see her spend most of the first round grappling and staying dominant on the ground. The second round started in a similar fashion, and quickly Shevchenko got Andrade on the ground. It wasn't long before Shevchenko trapped Andrade's arm and released a series of punches and elbows that ended the fight. Priscilla Cachoeira can relate to this treatment in John, Valentina's flyweight debut. John, I was grabbing my paper to try to find her name. But I mean, this is exactly what happened to Priscilla, and Valentina oh. is going to beat her up. Yeah, it looks like she opened her up with one of those elbows. Big Dan is Stop it, could come very here. closely. And this should be. That's it. And still, the UFC flyweight wow. champion. Is there anyone wow. who has anything for her at 125? Shevchenko still remains the champ, and we don't expect anybody to take her down all that soon. Yet another championship matchup, we had fan favorite fighter Rose Namajunas take on strawweight champion Zhang Wei Li. Before this fight, Rose had commented on how, in her mind, Wei Li represents the Chinese government's economic policy. Rose saw the fight as taking a stand against communism. This led to some political tension and is potentially what led to the crowd booing the strawweight champ. Wei Li says the booze threw her off her game, but that at the end of the day, she's responsible for her own fight performance. But we still wonder if the crowd played a role in what happened next. Wei Li has landed several of those inside low kicks. Oh! Within the first round, Nama Yunus threw a head kick that landed perfectly, and Wei Li instantly fell. The ref called the fight right away to the dismay of Wei Li, who felt she was trying to get back up and was still capable of fighting. 
Rose came out with an amazing victory, but we still can't wait to see these two fight once again at UFC 268. Who the best? I'm the best. Who the best? I'm the best. You've been the best. You were so focused. Before the fight started, you were standing over there, and as Bruce Buffer was saying your name, you were saying to yourself, I'm the best. I'm the best. I am the best. <laughs> Finally, it was the fight we were all waiting for. Welterweight champion Kamaru Usman fighting one of the UFC's favorite personalities, Jorge Masvidal. These two had fought previously at UFC 251, with Usman coming out with a win by unanimous decision. This time, Usman wasn't going to leave this rematch up to the judges. In the first round, Masvidal tried to throw a flying knee, and Usman immediately responded with a takedown. You've got to respect it and be ready to defend takedowns, because if you don't, Powerful takedown early from Usman. Usman was able to stay dominant up until the point Masvidal broke free from the clinch. By the second round, Usman and Masvidal exchanged a few strikes before Usman landed a clear punch that knocked Masvidal out cold. This time he was able to fight through round one, and he still feels good and confident in round two. And of all the superlatives. Oh! This was one of the only two times Masvidal had been KO'd in the octagon. Usman solidified his status as a welterweight champion and set the stage for his rematch with Colby Covington at UFC 268. What was your favorite moment of the night? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.